AK Geeks. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie of the Week. I don't know what week it is, but we're doing a movie of the week. Um, the movie this week that I had chosen was um, Look Who's Back. It is a German film directed by David Wendt. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I don't speak German. Liz does, so she's not here to correct me. She flew it? She, not as much as she used to be, but she, oh, wow. I can, you know, play a German phrase and she'll get, like, 90% of it usually, or she'll have to, you know, think about it. But yeah, she's uh, way better at that than me. Um, the reason I chose the movie... Um, this is what I want to know, because I've died all fucking week. We were watching a bunch of YouTube, uh, not YouTube, uh, Netflix movies, me and Liz. Um, we watched our typical, you know... Uh, Futurama, right. Family Guy, Brickleberry, uh, all the you know TV shows that we usually watch when we can't decide, and we're flipping through it. I'm fucked up beyond recognition, and I saw the freaking Hitler hair, and the Hitler hair just kills me every time I see it. It's like, it's the dumbest haircut. I don't get the mustache. It just made me laugh, and I'm like, what the hell is this? So I watched it, and it was like. At, at first, it was one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, just because he did, um, uh, who is this, the actor, um, Oliver, Oliver Masucci? Yeah. Uh, fan, did a fantastic job. Um, he, it, it, the whole point of the film, for those who uh, haven't heard of it, is basically it supposes what would have happened if Hitler didn't die in Well, actually, no, because at the beginning of the film, he wakes up in the current century so it's like he got no, that, he got no, i wasn't, I wasn't go ahead. done go ahead so from what you gather from the movie um there was an explosion of some sort in his bunker so instead of killing himself it transported him to um what 20 i think 2015 is when the movie uh, takes place it take, well, the, it's filmed in 2015 or released in 2015. So it's it was around. It was current. They did it current yeah, time. It was, I'm, it was I'm assuming it was present day. No, because I, day I remember when he asked for the newspaper and he says the date on the newspaper is October 2014. Okay, okay yeah. 2014. Okay. Um, so as I'm watching it, I'm like, this is really, really funny. And then it started getting into like the whole point of the movie. And then it got very unfunny in a good way. To where I was like, wow, that's because a, a lot of the movie is, it's kind of, um, it's semi-scripted, so there's scripted moments to keep the plot going, but most of the interactions are unscripted, uh, so you get real reactions from these people who think they're talking to a fake Hitler. Um, it, it was just, it was kind of eye-opening to see, like, their reactions. And I know you would have the same, it's not just German people, if it was, you know, if you see it now with Donald Trump, this the shit that people say, you know, think, get ha ha, it's a joke, he's not going to become president, so I'm going to say whatever I want, and I'm going to say the most hateful stuff that I have deep inside, but it's okay. It was just very, very, like, eye-opening, and I don't want to, humbling, I don't want to say, is, but, you know, that type of feeling where you're just like, damn, like, I felt better for watching that movie, so I, you know, I, I liked it, I really liked this movie. Yeah. It, it, first of all, I'm glad you were fucked up when you saw this. <laughs> first of all, because I think watching this straight, I was afraid to laugh because I, was I wrong in laughing on certain things? And I'm like, yeah, this is wrong for me to be doing this. And these people should not be so blind to this. But I mean, yeah. I mean, for a political satire, because that's what I, I, I look at it as. It's like, Wow, it, it mirror images what's going on today in so many ways. It's not even funny, especially right at this moment in time. So that's yeah. the scary part. I would say if you're if you're watching it straight and you want to laugh, go ahead and laugh as long as your laugh isn't followed by "ha ha ha, that guy's right, fuck the Jews." But you no. know, if, if, if you're doing that, <laughs> no, no, the, the, hold no, on, Jews. but. He, what what made what I loved about this is that they didn't they didn't make fun of Hitler, and they kept his his personality of who he I was because he was a very good a he was a very good speaker and and if, I love when you were in his head and you were 
he he was telling you what his motivations and how he went about to get people over to his side you know what he had to say to i love that man because that pretty much is how politics work you get to know the people that are around you and you figure out what they look what they need what they want and then you cater to what they like on top of what they're they're looking for and that's all he was doing again uh before i'll get into my part on that sean overall what do you think it was um i think kind of like what you're saying is at first it was very to me it was like silly and i liked the interaction um especially especially uh Sawatsky. uh he was he looked so familiar and i looked at his imdb page and i'm like looking at the stuff he's done and i don't recall anything he's done but he looked familiar um i don't but i liked his character uh the actor who played him i thought did a really good job of playing him and the interaction with him and hitler was i enjoyed it but there was a point in the film and you, you kind of touched on it is like where it went from funny or silly to kind of like okay it's losing that to at least to me it kind of lost it and then that's when when all the stuff started happening where i was like this dude's donald trump <laughs> and that's when i was like right then i was like okay wow this is like a very um uh, a movie that definitely touches on some stuff that we are dealing with today in our political arena that it's just, so many things that happened in this trailer are exactly what's going on with stuff that's it mirror images what's coming out of Trump's mouth. I'm sorry, uh, I'm I'm not leaning towards Trump, and it, this it matches up the way. Oh it no, does. I I, no. I, we, I think. Well, what I got out of it, it definitely the movie shows that everyone says you know history repeats itself. Yeah, it does. Cause what yeah. got me the the point in the movie where I'm just like, oh shit, it was when I think it was when they were standing on the roof, and he was like, I told the German people what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. I did oh, not. Yeah. I, I did not hide anything. I said. You know, basically, I did it like, very he, eloquently. He said, in a very nice way, he said, Jews suck. I want to get rid of them. We're going to be great. I'm going to do whatever I have to do. I will kill whoever I have to kill. I will make you suffer as much as you have to suffer mm -hmm. to make Germany great again. And everyone's like, haha, he's kidding. He won't do all this bad stuff. He's just a nice guy. You know, let's let's vote for him. Let's put him on there. That's exactly yeah. what's happening right now. Trump yeah. saying all this stupid shit. And this, he said, I want to you know, get rid of the Muslims. I'm going to you know, torture kids, please. Well, and he, he's saying what he's going to do, and mm -hmm. everyone's thinking he's not being serious. And he's, I would not underestimate him being 100% serious if he became president. So that was yeah. the point for me. I was like, oh, damn. That could act. We are terrible. Humans are terrible people. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking when I was watching it. When I, I, I do also as well think that, uh, what was again his name? Oliver Masucci. I thought he did a really good job. And what he did, I thought he, he did a really good job of keeping character and just the whole framework of this movie and everything that was being said, which it kept with his character, with his point of view. Like, it didn't, they wrote his, the character of Adolf Hitler in this film very, um, very well. Like, he, he didn't falter throughout the movie. It was really well done with how they wrote him. And it was just a pure a mirror image of everything going on with what he was saying. Um, the uh, I like the part where... Uh, He's he's trying his form of democracy. The guy goes, "Oh, I like a, I like somebody to just." The, he's talking to the one guy. He's like, "I like it when somebody just takes charge and just, you know, that's my kind of democracy." And he's like, "Yeah, that's my kind of favorite democracy too." And it's like, it's like, <laughs> I, like the that, I like that kind of democracy. That's my kind. And it's like, holy cow! Like this stuff is like, if we don't pay attention to this stuff in the real world, like they weren't, it, it'll happen without us realizing it. And I, it, you see that happening in the film. Okay, so you touched on your fa my favorite part is oh. um, the scene where I can't remember his name. The guy he takes over the my TV and he does that rant. The, the That's, that was rant. yeah, I, that was actually my favorite part right there. I lost my shit just because they did, <laughs> they did it a few times in the movie where they were at, it was it, the, one of the, I guess one of the reasons I really liked it was that they were taking themselves very seriously yet still having those jokes, but at the exact same time, they were making fun of that this is, you know, this could happen, and they're being very satirical, at, but again, at the same time, being very, very serious. That's a very, very thin line to ride when you're making that kind of movie, and they wrote it very, very well. There wasn't a part where I'm like, this is too ridiculous, so or should, this is too Should serious. we let people know what the full plot is? Because we only touched on the beginning half of it. 
Sure. I, yeah. think it, I think in these discussions we can. In my solo ones, I don't do spoilers, but in these discussions not, we can uh, touch plot, on plot, plot purpose not, is not a spoiler. Well, there's some plot points in there that yeah. could spoil the movie because the movie's really slow uh, working, I think. If, if we stick go to ahead. that, then... Yeah, yeah. If you have that up, go ahead and read yeah, it. Yeah, I, I got it. It says, you know, Adolf Hitler wakes up in the 21st century, he quickly gains media attention, but whereas Germany finds him hilarious and charming... Hitler makes some devious observations about society. And that's their plot synopsis right there. That's it. So it, it leaves a lot. And plus, it takes a lot to the the, the three of us being individuals. We, we each took different parts of it differently. So we're not going to see the movie exactly the same way. And I like how the movie jumped from... Because it didn't stay serious the whole length. That whole lower end was not full-on serious you know it didn't get scary or what have you it's it stood light throughout the whole film with those serious undertones and that's what i liked it it was sneaking yeah. that in on you so that way you're like okay and and the fact that they used the tv station as as a background for government was awesome because you saw how how cutthroat tv people were as any politician right. could be I, I did also like how the My TV logo looked like the YouTube, YouTube logo. Yeah, that was really is as subtle. I, at I, the same time, not subtle. I was so. actually curious if that was actually an actual TV station in Germany, and <laughs> they just you know used it as a reference point. Since you guys brought up your favorite parts, I'm gonna go completely off the wall. My favorite part had to do with the dog, and that's the whole reason why I found the picture that I have up because the whole scene where he's just like being all cutesy and calling himself. Come to uncle, I'm like, dude, there's nobody who can hate you when you're being this, like, loving to a dog. And listening to the women later on when they talk about, you know, man who knows his dog, you know, knows people and, you know, is someone to pay attention to and to like, that, that's creepy because all you got to do is kiss a few babies and you're going to be liked. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So there's a lot of sneaky little things that they put in there. But when that came back to bite him in the butt, <laughs> for killing the dog, like, but uh, it was, I also thought that was really funny because they got over that real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. When he started because he, he started made the doing donations speech. when he did the book. Yeah, yeah. There, you, there have been there there have uh, in there have been entire uh, um, killing sprees caused by the killing of a dog. Example: John Wick. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, I cannot wait for number two. Yeah, I, you know what? I, um, it's a great the, movie. the part with the the part with that I was mentioning. Uh, that the, my favorite part was the nine 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 part. Well, that was my favorite part of the film. The, but I just thought it was funny how some of these parts uh, they do. Um, they sneak things. Kind of, they they, they, they yeah, they're exemplary. They're um, very good at showing what's around. I think you made a good point, Lynn, about how it's I, and I about how it's light throughout the film, but they're still able to do those dark undertones or serious undertones. I think a lot of that has to do with kind of the, the score of the film. If you listen to the score and all the the music that's going on, it's kind of upbeat, it's light, it's not dull drums or a lot of bass. Yeah. It's uh, it's very light tempo kind of stuff. So it keeps you kind of, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, it, it, I think they did a good job with that. Uh, it's, it's very interesting, um, this film. And... Um, it is based on a real book, right? The book, yes. the book, I the think, book, the movie is based on a book in the movie, which is based on a book in real life, right? I think the, yeah, how, how it <laughs> yeah. is, is yeah, it was, it was the exact, is the same thing. It was a, a book written 2012 with the same title. Yeah. Uh, -huh. um, and then it got picked up and it's basically the, the plot of the book. It, it didn't change much. Yeah, like so, it's kind of like the book is a revolving, like door kind of thing, like of the story, uh, written the story, but then in the story you do the movie, right? So, right. I mean, I don't have much, I don't have much knowledge of this before we watched it. Neither, um, I, I, don't think, what, I don't think, yeah. I don't think besides Brendan, neither I, of us did either. I just uh, thought it looked interesting. Now, I, I, I think I, we've I, been I, pretty positive on this whole film so far. Cup, I do have. Oh, I have a like, lot of spots I, that I. I have a couple, like. a couple things that are kind of negative though on it. Yeah. And this isn't ne this isn't negative. Um, I didn't think it was super funny. Um, I thought there were chuckle moments, there were silly moments, but it did a good job of balancing the serious and the chuckle moments. That's kind of more just more more commentary about it. But 
Um, one of my negative points was it did such a good job of keeping everything uh, realistic and kind of lighthearted, but also serious undertones until the end, which I'm kind of, I, maybe you guys can clear up. Um, no, actually, I, maybe I don't think it needs to be cleared up because they actually show it at the end of the film when they stop filming the movie in the movie. They show him take off his mask, right? Whatever, after he shoots Hitler or whatever. Oh, sorry. Spoiler. Um, but the part that I was a, a little, I felt like it didn't go with the rest of the film was when they showed uh, Sawatsky in um, the mental hospital. Well, that's because that's where he was. Where that, you remember Hitler puts up the, the, the toast and he says, let's toast to those comrades that can't be with us? No, no, I, no, I get that. I get that. I'm saying it doesn't fit with the rest of the film. Well, because uh, it was it, such a severe, it was such a severe, uh, um, in, it took, it jumped off the tracks to put him there when he had proof that something happened. Yeah. And it was like, right. it, it, well, it I, went totally, it went totally silly. Like, hey, let's just lock up everybody and still no, the movie. I, see, I get, I get why you, why you, I definitely get why you would see that. But what Hitler did back in the days, he would lock up people who disagreed with him. Yeah. And who would basically, for lack of a better term, expose him for what he was doing. Yeah. So it's basically him doing the same thing again. I, they didn't show it, and I believe they go into it more in the book about how he got him into the mental institution. So right. that was all Hitler was doing. I guarantee that. that it yeah. Was, Hitler that, knew that he... Hitler got the joke. He got that everyone didn't think he was real, and he's using that mm -hmm. to build himself. To get yeah. power. So... If there's somebody who has proof that he's the real Hitler, he's going to lock... He's going to be, oh, that guy's crazy. Of course I'm not Hitler. Especially when it's someone so close to you as he was. That, but that's my yeah. point, though. That now, they didn't show that, so they just were going on this this line, and then all of a sudden they jumped off track to be like, oh, this guy's now in there, and um, it's kind of... It, to me, it did that didn't mesh well with the rest of the film. Like, it was... The, the rest of the film was on this one entire tone the whole time, and then that was just, oh, well, let's just lock it. Uh, I got, he's in there. I agree with Sean wholeheartedly. You would have preferred if they'd shown a little bit more of him, like, manipulating to get him into... Yes. Uh, and, yeah. And I, th I think it's because that scene is jarring, because at first... And you, also because the girl... Well, not not only that, you're, take, you're seeing him run out of the hospital and then head to the roof with the gun with, with towards Hitler... And then out of nowhere, we're we're supposed to guess. Well, when did he get caught? When did he get locked up? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a it whole. It all happened off screen. Right. Everything else then, they show except for that. But we're, where we were running on a smooth pace with all, that whole scene, then suddenly out of nowhere, it's just the ending of the film that they were filming. That was like that was a twist. I I get why they didn't. I I, I can see both sides to where I get why they didn't do it, and yeah. I get why they did it. So. I, 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 the other thing that kind of threw me off was um, the girl, the girlfriend of him at Comier. that point. Comier. Yeah, how, yeah, how, how Comier, how, like, it seemed like she was overacting in that part. Like, it seemed like that whole scene was uh, emphasized as even more satirical, like, um, like, just over the top. It seemed over the top for me. Like, it was not on the same tone with her as well as him being in there. Uh, I don't know. It, it just didn't match mesh with the rest of the film for me. That was probably my biggest negative for the film. Well, and that was at the end of the movie. Did you catch that she's also in the last bit when they're celebrating the end of the film? Well, no, that was a different actor. Did you notice it was her? Her nose is all big and everything. Yeah, so it was, so it was, it was, it was an actress, actress, actress playing her. that played her. But the thing yeah. is, if you look at it real quickly, you can get confused into thinking, well, why is she there? And then at the same time, she's at the hospital, you know, looking in on him. You know what I mean? It, that was that was probably my biggest negative about the film. Um, but it's not too. That's not that big of a negative. No, so. no. See, that's the, like the that I got that was overacting for me was the guy who was trying to take over the studio, the guy with the glasses. Yeah. He for me he had the for, personally he had the most overacting. Like it, it never took me out completely. But I'm just like. Okay, I get it. You're trying to be that guy. Just, yeah, and, you know, I don't like him at all as a character. Oh, first of all, he did because, a very good job being a douche. Well, no, the reason <laughs> why I, I don't like the characteristics that they gave him because the whole reason is he's doing this to try to take to run the company because he feels slighted that the position went to the woman, 
but at the same time he's trying to destroy the network by making this guy like when he's telling the writers to write the racist jokes and you can tell the writers don't want to do it and he's like no go ahead and do it I'm, I'm, you're all good and i'm like it's like you're destroying the whole network you want to you know be the head of and you have no problem with it. Yeah, you he, know, he made he, his bed and then he had to lay it, lay in it. Yeah, and that's why it's good that he technically never got to run it. Even when she gets fired, she doesn't stay gone for that long. Yeah, he destroys it real quick. Yeah, so, I mean, his character basically served no ideal purpose. If you think about it, if you take away his scenes and had Sawaski Change a little bit. Yeah, so you could have Sawaski dealing with someone else out of the TV reps and it wouldn't have mattered. It could have been a nameless person. Right, exactly. It could have been, it, that shut it down. It could have been any of the uh, like uh, PAs or production assistants or somebody mm -hmm. like that. It, it didn't have to be his specific character, but they added that in there to try to build a dramatic tension between him and that female yeah, character. But it didn't really which, play off. It was, it was okay. It, was, it wasn't really that. Yeah, it wasn't that, it, it wasn't that powerful. Yeah. I, I would say that. It wasn't powerful. It was, yeah, like, it was like he was like the gnat. He was just like, oh, you're in, yeah, yeah, you're, you're in the like, way. Shoot, the, go away. The, 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 yeah, they're trying to do that and build that relationship or that that um that kind of tension. Yeah, they're trying to and, say, that, but, well, this is what goes on. So you but, know, we have to it, have it in there. They didn't do a good enough job with that relationship, though. The two of them butting heads, yeah. as they did with Sawatsky and Hitler. Like that relationship was a lot better. Like the, the the building of that relationship, but they also spent more time on it. But even then, the dynamic between the man and the woman TV reps, yeah. it just wasn't yeah. wasn't that great. It just wasn't that great. Yeah, I think that that, that that just falls off and what have you. It just served no purpose to, like like I said, that did not help move the movie along. You know, there was I mean? a purpose, I think, but it, it they didn't do a good job of of developing it. Well, well, I think it's because of what the emphasis, you know, they wanted to make sure that the emphasis, we don't lose fact that is, it, it is about Hitler and dealing with the 21st century and, and how he would come about. So I, I understand that part. It's just, but yeah. it's still a throwaway character. You know, you really didn't need him. What was your guys' favorite joke from when they were saying all the racist jokes? I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. I'm not a racist <laughs> jokes person. Oh, my so. God. I did, I did not like those racist jokes. Yeah. Those are terrible. It did a very good job of making it awkward. Yeah. I, See, that's... I uh, that. those, were, those were points where... Even when they were showing the what dude guy, I was just kind of like, is he doing blackface? He's doing Obama. I was, yeah. Well, yeah. And I was just like, holy cow. This is like... Wow. I, I wonder how many shows like that are actually on TV. Uh, in, in Europe, TMZ probably uh, probably <laughs> a whole lot of them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't see that on our, on our channels. No, it's uh, because of how... <laughs> no, we're free FCC. speech. FCC, no, you can't do that. No, that's, that's, uh, that would be, call, that'd be uh, qualified as hate talk, probably. Well, hate no, speech. Well, um, so, well, we have our... Unless, it's, unless it falls under the satirical. We have our political satire comedians that do that, but they just don't do, you know, face paints or what have you. They just outright tell jokes about the president or whatever politician they want to talk about. We have those type they, of shows, you know, yeah. but they just they, they just don't need to go to that extreme like the guy, you know, painting on his what face. Dude, yes. Whoa, dude, or whatever. Whoa, you dude. Want, once I saw the title, it reminded me of the show from back in the late 80s, early 90s called Hey, Dude. You know what gets me, and and I don't I don't know if it's they did this purposely, but Hitler, being a known racist, you know, wanting the master race to succeed, none of that was touched by him as a character, which is understandable. But the 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 spots that are unscripted, like we only get to see it once when that's the old man when he was starting to do the paintings, and he was like, if it was to me, I'd drag you out of here. I'd because run you out of here, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that's the only person that out of everyone that they showed that out of non-scripted, that was like not all hoity-toity. You know what I Actually, mean? Actually, they showed another one at the end. I don't know if you caught it. There was a black kid. But they, 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 he, they, sh they showed he a saw couple. Him, he said, he, he, well, I mean, there was a couple. You know, there wasn't a ton of them, but they showed like a black kid, and I think that was totally based on the whole racial aspect. He's I'm like sure pretty much like suck my nuts and flip the ball. 
because even when he starts to do the TV tours, when he's jumping from TV to TV from different hosts, and he's there with the um, guy who looks of Middle Eastern descent, he could be Indian or what have you, but he's got the, he's definitely born from Germany, and you know he's talking to him like nothing. I would think Hitler, being the Hitler that he was, he would not even go on this type of show because of who the oh. host is. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That was not. I won't on. give them my time. Yeah. And, you know, and and the, the I think the one part that gets me the most is when Romare's grandmother finally realized who he is, and is the only person who, mind you, having dementia, is the only person who sees him for who he really is. You know what I'm saying? It's that different. just like boom. It's like everybody who's of sane mind thinks he's a joker and and what have you and thinks he's funny and what and here's this woman who went through world war ii uh, and knows what his fa he did to her family being of jewish descent because that was the only that. that's the only reason why they you know Kramer was there and then the comment he makes after that about her and you know swatsky was like dude why didn't i just punch him in the face right there I like this girl. Why are you talk, talking to her like she's some piece of dog? Yeah. You know what's funny is they did a good job of, um, and I forgot about it in the movie because the movie caught me up. I guess you say I was caught up in the movie. Yeah. Well, when when they're making out on the couch and they're about he's about to get some Sawatsky, the menorah falls on on mm -hmm. him. I totally mm -hmm. like that. Did even I was like, oh, the, the the menorah, cool. And then she put it up there. And then later on at the end, I was like. Oh, the grandma's Jewish. No, <laughs> she like, is as well. Like, she's Jewish. Oh, yeah, but she's Jewish as well. I was like, but that's when it really hit me. I was like, oh, yeah, there was a... <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. It, oh, I yeah, saw it, and, like, I, and I knew what it was. That was like... I forgot the door fell moment. on his head. I was like, I didn't put the two and two together. I was oh, just hey, like... guys, look, I mean, she's I mean, Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, the menorah hit him. And, it, and it's funny because when the menorah fell on him, it goes clunk. It makes a loud, like sound that was like well, it knocks him in the head like, <laughs> like it made a louder sound than it normally would have in yeah. real life it's yeah like, donk <laughs> and then i didn't uh, then i did i totally like okay the menorah awesome and then the grandma comes out and says like you i know who you are for what you are and i was like oh she's Jew. Oh, okay and it was i thought they did a good job of uh, sneaking the menorah in there it, it to me that means like they did a good job if you're you're wrapped up in the movie in a sense like they threw something at you like that it's obvious, but not still, my question. It, that was a scene that was not too heavy. What were you so wrapped up in that you were not paying attention to the menorah? To the menorah? No, no, I saw the menorah when it fell no, on the head, and I, I was like, "Oh, oh, you were just no." I just the rest of the movie. Okay. The rest of the movie, it just like you it didn't going, add up. You were just going for the flow, and I was just going with the flow of the movie, and gotcha. I totally realized at the end, like, "Oh shoot, uh, Grandma, <laughs> they're Jewish." I forgot about the. The menorah falling on the, his head when they were making out, and he was getting some. But what's odd when is that worked. this is the girl that taught Hitler to use the internet and to use Google yeah. and what have you, and yet he still turns around and talks down to her after the fact that he found out that she's Jewish through the because grandma. she has a use. She had a use which was to help him, but she's still lower quality than him. Yeah. Right, he, she didn't. He didn't treat her as such when you know they were learning when he was learning what the mouse. What did he say that uh, she's still, she's only half Jewish, so she still has, she's an okay, what did he say? Oh, he goes around and he also said, it's okay if someone, get, you know, it's okay if, if you have, a, if you get a little like bit Like a fling genius. or something yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. He was allowing, <laughs> basically he was allowing Swatsky to have this Jew, that it's okay if you, you know. You can have your Jew and eat it too. Yeah. yeah but <laughs> that That's the point where I would have been like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. You need to, you need to get the fuck okay, out. I guess so. And get out of here. Yeah, so. oh, okay, since we're pretty much good, final thought, shot, go. I in, I enjoyed the film. Um, I definitely liked the callbacks to uh, other uh, propaganda movies. Um, overhead shot with the smoke. I read that that was a callback to an older film, the the Downfall film, uh, where they did the that scene. I loved that scene. Um, <clears throat> and I just loved the callbacks. I thought the acting on the parts of the main actors, Sawatsky, Hitler, um, those two for sure were, they did great together. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's not something that I'm going to go back to like a million times and I wouldn't recommend it for, 
just anybody because you got to go into this movie with an you, open mind yeah, as you well can't be as closed minded that's for sure yeah and and i know you you so you can't you just obviously can't recommend this movie to everybody Mm-mm. but if you if you if you know somebody has an open mind that's interested in satire of things of this nature i definitely would recommend it to them um my grade on this would be a b minus um i'm gonna give it a little bit higher because i i i want to thank you brendan for putting this out is one i i'm i don't mind i love german cinema especially german horror of course but this one took it back it made me like really like god and if you sit down and you look at it anything that hitler said to any of the people you could take it as like you know what he's right the, the government needs to be doing this you know and you can see how how suave politicians are when when especially with somebody like him who was destined to be a painter but because of his talking but i i, I appreciate the movie for what it was trying to do and it opens up how you know european governments are right now and all those government parties that he mentions in the film are legitimate parties that are not happy with the way germany and all most of what eastern europe is like green the, the yeah. green ones especially so it, it's good to see that you know our problems are basically mirrored across the world so but i like that like I, I like Sean said, I don't think anybody who's closed minded should see this. It's yeah. a little scary to laugh at this and yet still take it seriously too. So like I said, I was a little worried, but glad that I did. Thank you for I guess extending that <laughs> that opening of the mind. But I have to give it a B a solid B just because, you know, it, it did what it was okay. trying to do. It 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 wants you to think of what could be possible. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely liked it. I would watch it with Susan to see her reaction. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I, I'd have to pick and choose who I'd let see it because yeah. Yeah. But the way the world is, not everybody's as open-minded, especially when you just say the word Hitler and you're like, oh, no, nope, that, that's it. Because that's how I originally thought when, when you first mentioned the movie. I was like, yeah, I, I can see it. Um, it, it yeah, since we're it, doing the file, like what I first... I, for, I watched about half of it by myself. Yeah. And then I was sitting there. I was like, I think I was like, I thought maybe Liz would really like this because a she likes German stuff. She likes she loves history. Yeah. And it's basically for me. It's I don't want to say it's it's definitely not alternate history, but it has that kind of feel to it. You know, taking something out from the past, putting it. What what would be the reaction? Yeah, it's a big and what if. I, I, I would give it an A just for the fact that if that happened, you could. 100% with very small changes 100% see Hitler doing something like this and being able to pull it off again mm-hmm. with us not realizing it but like you said definitely not for everybody if you like history if you like German cinema and you're not you know fucking racist uh, yeah it's definitely worth a watch it would definitely would get higher for me just because I could probably watch it maybe every year or so you know every once in a while yeah. um, not something I'd watch you know hey let's watch let's do back week. let's get back <laughs> again for the third time this week yeah. um, you said something right there Brendan about the racist thing about if you wouldn't recommend it to the ther- if they're if they're racist I think if they're racist they probably like this movie a lot because they see I Hitler succeeding I like it for that reason okay yeah, that's okay. You're supposed to watch it and realize, hey, that's cut racist shit. That's bad. This is yeah, bad. Yeah. Thinking yeah. like, but, and the fact that like you're like, if you you when you're like, should I laugh at this? That's yeah. good. That's good feeling. That's a good. You're not automatically taking it for what it is. You're thinking about it and be like, oh okay. Uh, in this content, you know, you're thinking about other people and you know you what how you actually feel. So yeah, it's exactly. definitely. Definitely worth watching. I would give it an A. There's very, very few things that I would change. Um, I mean, every even A plus movies have one or two actors that you're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, um, I think the, the whole reason why I get, the, reason the movie was good. Yeah, so. the reason why I, I don't give it for the B, I gave it a B, is because of the ending, the jarring ending, and like I said, the one character that I think we could have done without. Those are my main two reasons why I would have yeah. gone higher. You know. 
But, so I guess overall, we give, definitely give it a thumbs up. I guess it's, it's, it was it's, a good movie. It's got our. I guess overall, we could say we we pretty much are giving it our our overall approval. Yeah. yeah, overall, I think overall we'd all recommend it. It's on Netflix right now. You can watch it. I think we'd all recommend it, depending on certain qualities of the viewer. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Um, so I mean, that's I mean that's that's a good thing I, right there I, for a movie. I definitely do want to see if I can find that book in English. That'd be interesting to read that. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's been translated. I'm pretty sure you, you think can find it? it. I'm pretty sure. Check. It, uh, and and but I best your best bet is either check if Amazon doesn't have it, check Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Nobles would have a tendency to get books that though they're in the original language, they can get translated text versions. So I, I would I'm pretty sure there's a translated version of that book. So. I think it, it probably has the same title, or at least in the movie, it had the same title when he was writing it. Yeah. So. Yes, it was, uh, uh, yeah, Look Who's Back. That was the name of the book. Yeah, yeah that's what I was saying, because the, 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 the book is Look Who's Back. You know, you first said it was Look Who's Back. <laughs> and me this trying is, to... Oh, that's... Me trying... Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Me trying to find images for, for this movie was a pain in the ass, man. I had to put Hitler Movie 2015... Just <laughs> you know, putting those on a search engine is never a good thing because you're like, oh wait, wait, possible hate guy. You know what's funny is about that is because I forgot the name of the of the movie Downfall. I forgot what the name was, yeah. right? So I was like, damn it, what's the name of that film that the scene was in? So what I looked was Hitler movie, famous nine 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 scene, <laughs> no, and that's how I found that one. I was just reading about the book. It has been translated into 41 languages. Mm. Uh, the English book is Look Who's Back. Um, when it was originally produced in Germany, it was deliberately priced at um, 1933. That makes sense. Which I in a movie. Yeah, that's that's pretty funny. Um, there's an audio book, so it's. I bet you that's in German. <laughs> you know what's you know what's nice. Um, there was it said there was a, a, a newspaper called the Jewish Daily Forward, right? Where he described the novel as slapstick with a moral message. That's actually uh, be a good That's, description. Uh, the slapstick part is a little strong for because slapstick yeah. comedy. Oh no 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 no! It's not because think about it. The, the the slapstick, and it only comes in one scene that I could say, and it, that's a dog when a dog starts grabbing his coat and that would be slapstick that's the only, twirling around yeah that's the only part you could say was literally slapstick that's you why i say the sla the term slapstick the, to very, describe it is a little strong that's a little strong but well, I, I it's, a, it's just like you know that's a small aspect of the film i would say yeah. political satire because it is being political and it is yeah. you know trying to be light on the subject so i that's where i would have put it more along that yeah so, as somebody had commented that most people wouldn't think it possible that if they would have lived back then, they would have thought and he would, that he was in some way attractive too. And this movie kind of showed that, yeah, you, you could easily. He's he was a very, very, very persuasive person. He was a smooth operator. So, he knew how to pull it's strings. Hindsight, hindsight is twenty twenty. You can condemn him all you want, but you, I don't think. Anybody could say with 100% certainty that if, obviously, if you were Jewish back then, you would more likely not agree with him. But you can't. I, I, I couldn't say that. I don't. I don't. I was a highly different, you know, situation. I would hope that I wouldn't uh, agree with him. I, I, I there's a, it would depend on a lot of different, different things. There, 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 there's something that you mentioned that um, that both you guys just mentioned that made me realize something. I've been reading a book. I haven't finished. I took a break from. It. It's called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. There's and in this it. book, okay, uh, there's and everything that we're talking about how he acts. It, it, it makes me realize like he probably read that book because <laughs> he's doing a lot of what he in this in the book. I, I, I I'm more than halfway through it. He's doing a lot of these things. He's repeating names. He's he's focusing on these things that these people like to yeah. help them like him and and so on and so forth. It's like, well, yeah, he's, yeah. You remember the the conversation that Swarovski has with Hitler about how 
he knows nothing about relationships, and he's, he's, he's uh, and he calls Swaski not being confident, and and you have to be confident to talk to a woman, and and the the best response that he gave because obviously Hitler's background as far as women was not the greatest in the world because he was alone, and, and how he said, well, maybe you should write Mein Kampf with my wife. And both of them burst out laughing because they both knew what. Well, you're talking shit because you're by yourself, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Like, so though yeah. he was a great speaker to the people that he was able to convince, there's still people who called him out for his shit. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's they. 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 I mean, none of us know exactly. I mean. I mean, how many? On honest, on honest response, how many videos of Hitler's speeches have we watched? Even combined, is it more than on one hand? Yeah, uh, I've never uh, watched. I've, I've watched a lot of. Them. I'd say a oh, few I've, of them. Yeah, cause... I've never, I've never, I've only watched whatever's on clips of things, but never, I've never sat through like a whole speech of Hitler. So I don't know how he was back then. But whatever the character they, de if they, whatever character they put on screen of Hitler in this film was very, very well-spoken, very, very uh, able to um, comp get people to compromise or, remember, or understand or accept and things of that. So, really remember, good. Adolf started his political career standing on a, on a wooden box telling people what the government was doing wrong and how he could change things. And the people who would you know, stand around him, listening to him, started to rally behind him. And as that continued on, he started to get more into politics. And, and literally, he came out of nowhere and, and rose to, to, to lead Germany in, you know, what, just on his vocal, how he could speak. One, yeah, one thing that you notice when you watch his stuff, because there's not, there's not a lot of when he first started, because nobody gave two shits about him, so there right. wasn't any recording or anything. But when, when you watch the early stuff that you can find with the later stuff, he always had a base message that that was his talking point. He changed everything else depending on who he was talking to. So he would he was a big flip flopper, just mm -hmm. like you see now. He would mm -hmm. be like, "Oh, I didn't mean that. I was just you know, I was being metaphorical. I was being you know facetious." Uh, can I ever facetious. Say that word? Yes, um, I w it was just words. That's all I was saying. All I'm saying is words. It's all up to you. So it, it, he was very, very good at saying what people wanted to hear. Yeah, his, his claim to fame as far as what his main subject goal was, he, he would tell people, my point, my purpose is to make Germany what it needs to be. You know, a powerful force in the world, a, a, a dominant thing as far as a government party. And people were rallying against that. He's like, I want to make Germany great. That's pretty much yeah, his have, subject in a whole. You have, with which that isn't a that's a good ideal to make your country great again. That's awesome. That everybody wants their country to be great, and that he put that in the forefront. And then he was like, "But I have to do this, and mm -hmm. then I have to do this, and then I have to do this, and then I have to do this." But look what I'm doing. I have to go here to get to here, and he did that very very slowly and very very subtly, just like he did in this movie. He said what everybody wanted to hear, and then and then the bad stuff started to trickle out. And then it was, mm -hmm. yeah, I killed that dog. Fuck that dog. And then, oh, yep, I want to get rid of all the Jews. Yep, and, I'm going to murder her. And you notice how he said, I'd do it again, too. I'll because, do it again. Yep. So that dog it. bit me. You would do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah, loved when they showed that film, the quick turnaround that the, that the audience had. Because, you know, of course, they switched to what the audience reaction was. And you're like, you're seeing people like that. And you're like... But yet, they, hey, we love you anyway. That is just politics in a nutshell right there. Oh, you you screwed a hooker and killed her? Ah, we're, we're voting for you anyway. He's trying to make the country great, though. Yeah, you're, make, you're, just, you're hey, just doing what's good for the people. Bad. They all have something what a, bad. Got to what it. does one dog amount to in the in, struggle in the, for making this country great again? <laughs> Not much. At the beginning, when he's talking about the ki when he's talking to the kids. The German youth are the most important things because they were easily meld. That's why he had so many, you know, he had such I, a huge youth movement. I, uh, I I thought when he saw the Ronaldo name on the back of the jersey that he was going to get pissed. 
but he just called it like it's if his name. I thought he was going to get pissed because that's not a German name. <laughs> nope, that's Italian. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, I, 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 thought, that, I was expecting that, more of a... That's the whole aspect that I'm talking about that they didn't take with him, that they could have. Yeah, easily. I thought there was going to be a big response when once that kid turned around and I saw that jersey, I was like, oh, what's... He didn't respond to it. He, he just called the kid Ronaldo. He did not act on anybody's ethnicity or, or background yeah. whatsoever. He just spoke how he spoke. Because he could see. Because he, he knew. He knew. This is how Why? people are right now. And I think he got most of it when he was walking around the street and everybody was taking pictures of him. I was like, why are all these people doing this? And he's talking, oh, the scene with him in the mind. <laughs> Forget about it. He's like, dude, I, go so away. I, that. Okay, the, of all the scenes that we were ta- we were talking about with um, him actually going out in the crowd, yeah, I you can tell that some of those people. I think some of the people were placed. There were like some people were placed in hopes to further along that scene. I wonder if that mine was placed there or if that mine actually broke character I'm and that mine sure was that actually was just. An actor. Re- you I think w- that mine? I would think that's like, an actor. Yeah, because think you, about you it. would hope you would hope a mine would have. More respect for his craft. Well, here's the thing. The way I look at it, I think he was planted there ahead of time, and he knew yeah. that this the actor would come by dressed as Hitler and what have you. So he mm-hmm. already has a crowd watching his mm-hmm. pantomime. So yeah. here comes this guy dressed as Hitler, and these people are looking at him talk to mime, who's like, what the... Click, 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 click. No, see, I think... I, I, I want to say it was in between, the, in between that. I think, yes, that... that street performer was picked up and said, hey, we want you to perform on camera. Somebody's going to walk up. Just go with it. Just go with whatever, you know, you feel. You think they actually I, you, just let him be natural? Like, you think that's just some he was street like, performer? You can see look at He's like, is that fucking, is that Hitler? Is that, is that fucking yeah, is that Hitler? Yeah, actors would be real good, especially German you know, actors. I just, for me, I didn't get that vibe where he was planted. Looking back, I could see that Yes, they asked him to be there. He didn't. I don't think they told him what was going to happen, because that look on look on his face seemed to me either a he's a really good actor or b yeah. it, it pure surprise where he's like, what the fuck? Yeah, you there know? are so some. I, points... I would like to think. I would like to think it was a little bit of both. Right. Well, then, so do you think he's a true mime, or because I mean, dude, a mime ain't supposed to talk. That dude broke his code. Even if I was a true mime, <laughs> if somebody that was dressed that. Like I, I would have to say something. I'd just be like, "What the fuck are Especially you?" Especially when he's talking to you, you know, distracting you from making your money, and he's like, "Please yeah. tell me where the such as." I'm like, "Dude, get the fuck away from me!" I would have broken character too, man. Because yeah, I would be like, "Dude, I, you're, I want, my, I want to make my money and go home." <laughs> or if I'm a street performer, and I think this is a Hitler street performer, I'd be like, "Dude, just." No, go I don't get want your own corner. Go get your own corner. Yeah, go get well, your, he that's did what say I, that. He was like, "This that's is my I spot." <laughs> to where I think that he was, yes, he was planted there to perform, but he didn't know who was going to come up and fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, I, that's the the one thing I was curious about that because I know there's other people that you can tell they're hired to be there to further along. Something's going to happen at some point, and when you guys cross paths, your reaction needs to be in this general. Uh, range of words and sentences, whatever it may be, force the comedy that way or the show that way. But uh, I, that was one out of all the people. I was like, all right, that he just broke character. Is that guy planted or he was a real mime? Because that's really cool. It's like it's it's like everything they do with Borat. Yeah, you know. But yeah. but this is the way they did it was a lot better than not Borat, but the, what was the yeah, second one? Bruno. Bruno. Bruno? Yeah, yeah, this oh. one was more natural than Bruno. I, Borat, because Borat was the first one. But Bruno was, oh, you know, God. and that nothing worked again after after Borat. But it was nice to see this kind of interaction. And they, you could even see that they, a lot of people, they they didn't sign off the, um, off of the their faces appearing, so they had to, the NDAs and whatnot, so they had to blur them out. So it's I like the fact that they actually left that in there um, to make it more realistic. Yeah, that that those people you don't see towards the end when they're giving the credits. Yeah, there's only a few of them. Yeah, because yeah. that's when he's in the car ride and he's just waving to his people. Yeah, I wonder if that's uh, one of the things that they do on a, a set like this is they'll be like, okay, um, the tourists are going towards that area where the mime was, and they tell them they might have something cordoned off and said, look, it, there's gonna be a film that's shooting over here. You can definitely go and do your tourist thing, but you have to sign this paperwork. 
that's why I mean everybody in that area with the mime, none of their faces were blocked out. You know? Yeah, that legally that would have been a cluster, but uh. This is some kind of new. What are you doing? Go to your room. <laughs> so Go to your room. <laughs> this is this definitely get that, edited out. You guys, that's our youngest member of AK Geeks. You guys. <laughs> Of course, he's he's still talking on his way to his room about whatever show he's watching. I'm like, uh, he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. So, uh, so uh, yeah, I think that's probably it for us. Uh, Sean, you want to do the wrap up since I did the opening? No, you, it's your. Okay. No, I I <laughs> at, okay. at the lead, I'm choosing you for the wrap up. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So that has been our um, group discussion of our movie of the week, which was "Look Who's Back." That is on Netflix. You guys are now. We all recommend seeing it, de depending on per personal tastes and things of that nature. Uh, my name is Sean. Catch me on Xbox, PlayStation, and uh, we're gonna do another movie of the week next week solo outing. And we haven't decided what the group one is, so definitely give us suggestions if you have any thought-provoking films. Oh, I have uh, to get back to you. Wanna... I think I have one for us for the group one. Okay. I watched. Well, it. we'll talk gotta, about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to we'll bring talk it up. About that. I'll, I'll mention but, it next uh, time. Everybody else, send us your suggestions. We appreciate them. We definitely want some more thought-provoking films, stuff that might have to do with how we are all geeks, stuff that you might just want to see that, that might deserve a commentary because it's so dumb or awesome, whatever it may be. <laughs> so uh, I say I salute you guys, and I say bye. Uh, Lynn and Brendan, can you give us your guys' goodbyes? Brendan, you want to go, go first? Okay. No. Uh, I <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching us. I hope you guys enjoyed this thought-provoking episode of Movie of the Week. Cause that's I really thought the movie was very. It gave us a lot to talk about. But uh, yeah, catch me on Xbox Live, Ash Darkthorn, or Geeky Goth Dad, Dad, cause that's one of the two that I have. And catch us on Twitter on AK Geeks and everything else. But yep, till next time. Brandon, uh, def definitely had fun. Um... We look forward to hearing from you guys. If you liked it, subscribe. If you didn't like it, subscribe anyways. And Who cares? You, you don't have to watch it. We'll take it. Hey, if you want to subscribe and leave flaming comments, go ahead and subscribe and leave flaming comments. I don't care. It's not going to hurt me. at my feelings any. Um, <laughs> Instructive <sorry>. flaming comments. <laughs> I mean... Brendan is a little flaming at times, but, you know, it is what it is. He still has yet to be burned. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go eat some ice cream and watch this movie again and cry. So, uh, I appreciate <laughs> We love you. We love you. I meant flaming. With all I, that I meant flaming as said. in mad. You do know that. Oh, I thought you meant flaming the other way. No, 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 no. It's obvious he's not. He lives with a woman. Huh? <laughs> he thought I was referring to your sexuality. I was just saying flaming as in mad. Because usually the flaming comments we get are mad comments. If we were to get any. Oh, yeah. So I was That's keeping true. it on the subject matter that they are. You took okay, it a whole have, different way. You have to close it out and say your catchphrase like you always do. I feel I feel weird if you don't say no, it. No, you wanted to close it. You wanted to be last. You got to close it out with whatever you want to say. I can't say it. I can't. It's not my catchphrase. I can't well, say it. Well, th that's why you you said you wanted to finish. You come up with your own catchphrase and close us out. Okay. And as always, catch Lynn on the dark side. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Dude, you see what I mean? <laughs> It All was right. either that, it was either saying that or peace out dick holes. And I didn't want to say peace out dick holes, you so I went did. with. Uh... AK Geeks.